GHS 24.
I want you to bow your head and pray to the Lord and tell him what you want tonight. There must be something you want. Tell him what you want. Amen. Our Father, we come before you. We know that everyone is special before you. And all these brothers and sisters, men and women who are here today are special before you. You are touched with the feeling of our infirmities. We thank you for these testimonies we have heard of those who have suffered shame, sorrow and agony. And yet their own time came. You delivered them. I believe for many of us who are here tonight, your mercy is present with us. Your miracles are near. Your power is available. We are asking that you bless everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Remove sorrows and heartaches. Remove agonies and pains. Remove bad luck and evil. Remove the oppression of the devil. Remove diseases and sicknesses from people. Touch them in your mercy. Touch them in your power. Bless everyone tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 28, Jesus asked a question from two blind men that came to him. And the question reveals a lot on how the power of God works in the lives of people. Matthew chapter 9 verse 28 And when he was coming to the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus says unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord, that is, Yes, Lord. And without any comment from Jesus anymore, without any statement, without any explanation, after they answered the question, then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And in verse 30 we have the result. And their eyes were opened. Today we want to examine briefly the word of God on the power of faith. The power of faith is the one that pulls on the string of the power of God. And it makes the power of God to work for the person that has the faith. Think of a bell. The bell is there, the bell is normal, the bell is sounding, and then there is a string. When you pull the string, then the bell makes a sound as the metal knocks the rim of the bell. The power of God is like that bell. Your faith is a string. And when you pull on that string, the sound of miracle will normally come out. But the power may be there all the time. If you refuse to pull this, the string, then it appears there is no sound of miracle. There is no testimony of miracle. There is no manifestation of the power, but the power is there. It's only that the string is waiting for you to be pulled. And what pulls, the hand that pulls that string is the power of faith. Now Jesus had the power and he knew it. Jesus had the divine ability and he knew it. Jesus was sent with the power of miracle and he knew it. He knew that all things were possible. In fact, before this time, checking up the records from Matthew, multitudes had been healed. A leper had come to him and said, If you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus touched him. The leprosy went away immediately. 
a centurion that had a servant tormented that come to Jesus Christ and he said speak the word only my servant will be healed and uh, Jesus spoke the word the servant was healed no doubt the power was there in Jesus but then when the blind men came they must pull the string of the bell to make the miracle sound come forth it is true that he could heal multitude he could cleanse the leper he could deliver the tormented servant in fact we are told that the people that were possessed with devils many of them had been healed by the spoken word of jesus christ his storm had been calmed all in matthew chapter 8 a fierce lunatic had been killed in fact a hopeless paralytic in chapter 9 had been raised and just in this chapter 9 12, 12 years of usual blood had been stored and just in verse 25 the dead had been raised there was no doubt the power was in the Lord Jesus Christ but the power was there the ability was there the anointing was there the spirit was there without measure yet you must pull on the string of the bell to be able to let the miracle sound come forth and so the two blind men came in verse 27 we are told when jesus departed thence two blind men followed him crying and saying now son of david have mercy on us jesus didn't give a long message he didn't even ask a choir to sing he didn't start praying immediately he asked a question because we're told when he was coming to the house the blind men came to him and jesus says unto them well i know i have the power but do you believe i have that power i know that if i have cleansed the leper if i have raised up the dead if i've stopped an issue of blood if i've delivered the tormented person and if i have cured the lunatic i know that your blind eyes can be open but do you believe it i know the lord has sent me to open the eyes of the blind to bind up the broken hearted to deliver the oppressed and to set free the captives but do you believe it i know that with god and with me all things are possible it's just a matter of opening my mouth and offering that statement of faith and authority it will be done but do you believe and they needed to pull on the string of the power of god so he asked them the question believe ye that i'm able to do this and they said unto him yes lord and with that they pulled on the string of the bell of the power of god and he touched their eyes and he said because you said yes that's all i need and he said according to your faith be it unto you and their eyes were opened you have listened to many testimonies as to the manifestation of the power of god just this night you have listened to this young man that came and uh, the spiritual x-ray had x-rayed him and said there is a young man there as tall as a preacher you are wet in the bed or you have a serious problem you raise up your hand the x-ray came spiritually he raised up his hand there was prayer 22 years of problem all vanished away and um, we have had other testimonies at the first revival service in the morning and at the second and also at this third one miracles are happening miracles are happening but then for you before you can get that miracle you need to answer this question believe ye that i'm able to do this whatever the problem may be if you look back and you think back on all the testimonies we have heard god has solved a similar problem as you have brought here is your home broken the prayer of faith from this place has reunited broken homes before are you having issue of blood i remember that woman that came here to this church on thursday having issue of blood just flowing and flowing nine years and the first time she came here the word of knowledge came forth she raised up her hand that is your blood stopped immediately we've seen people who are blind they were healed we've seen the lame they walked 
just about uh, two, three days ago, I saw photographs uh, that somebody sent to me. He said that I am not um, a recognized photographer of your church, but I was at the crusade and it was with his camera and it was outside. He said, while you were praying, somebody outside who had been totally blind, uh, just the eyes became open. There was no other photographer there. I was a person there. I just took the photograph and he sent the photograph to me and said, that is the result of that prayer. He said he was outside and uh, in that same crusade, there was a lame man, uh, there was a no lame woman uh, outside. And uh, the prayer of her faith was being said inside the bowl. And uh, the woman uh, rose up and some ushers and workers came around. He took the photograph. Uh, the blind man was, the blind was a blind, uh, was a man. And he sent the two photographs to me. He said, I am an unknown photographer. But I took the photographs of these miracles. And then he sent them to me. Think about it. All that the Lord has been doing. As the power of God's touch, will the power of God fail? So, the same question Jesus asked is the question I'm asking you tonight. Believe ye that I'm able to do this? You do believe I'm able to help you? I know the power is there, but do you know the power is there? I know the anointing is there, and with that anointing, every yoke will be broken. But do you know it? Jesus has a question. Believe ye that I'm able to do this? And they said, Yes, Lord. At the answer of Yes, Lord, they pulled on the string of the bell of the power of God. The sound came forth. A miracle followed. They received their sight. Your miracle is as close to you as the dress you are wearing on you right now. If you just know that the power of God is here, the anointing of God is there, the divine ability is here, and all you can say is, Yes, Lord, your miracle is ready. Rise up and let me pray for you. That power will never fail. Already through that same power, the lame has walked, the blind has seen, issue of blood has stopped, the deaf has heard, the dumb has spoken, Mental problems have been cured. The barren have received children. Tuberculosis have gone. Many, many problems have been removed through this same power of God. And if you believe that tonight the anointing is still there, the power is still there, your miracle is near you. Raise up your voice to the Lord and call upon the Lord. Your miracle is now if you can just say, Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe the power is there. I believe if the man of God will pray for me, I believe the problem will go. Yes, Lord. And your miracle is near. Believe ye that I'm able to do this. Believe ye that I'm able to do this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you believe your miracle is available? Heads bowed and eyes closed. The woman who has been having the pains, the sharp pains, sudden pain on the breast. If you raise up your hand, I'll be praying for you. The woman that has been having the pain, the disease in the breast, if you raise up your hand, I'll be praying for you. Raise it up well so I can see. There's a hand here, but I'm still looking for somebody in the large auditorium. There's another hand over here, but I'm watching for a hand in the large auditorium. If your hand is up in the large auditorium, wave it at me so I will know I've got you. Ushers, anybody in the large auditorium? Okay, I've got the person. Father, in the name of Jesus... 
I thank you for your history. I thank you for your power. I thank you for your revelation. I thank you because of the power that removes any disease or ailment, whatever may be the root cause. I pray for these who are raising up their hands that the sharp sudden pains and the disease in the delicate part I've mentioned as they're raising up their hands you remove the disease and the sickness from them in Jesus name thank you father because I know you have answered in Jesus name I pray amen the Lord says you are healed you can put down your hands The individual who has been having pain, um, no, not just pain, peppery sensation. I don't know how to describe it, but peppery sensation all over different parts of the body. And uh, you have to be really, you have to discipline yourself to put clothes on. And it is not just ordinary heat. And sometimes to scratch and sometimes to rub. Sometimes you do a lot of things. And that thing has been terrible on your body. If you raise up your hand, the Lord says your healing is very near. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I'm asking for all these who are raising up their hands that the problem on their skin, all over their body, you remove right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By faith, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon the whole of their body. And I'm asking that, Lord, you'll cool down everything. And all the peppery sensations and the pains all over the body and uh, especially on the, on the surface of the skin. You remove everything completely in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. The individual that is not able to keep his balance very well whenever you walk and it will appear that you will stagger, uh, almost appearing that you will almost be falling down whenever you are walking and you find it difficult to coordinate and control yourself and just regularize everything as you are walking. If you raise up your hand, everything will become steady. Nervous problem? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these who are raising up their hands. And I pray that whatever is the root cause of these problems, you remove the problem away from them in Jesus' name. I'm asking that you'll strengthen them. You set them completely free. And you help them to be able to coordinate the different parts of their body to be able to move normally. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. The individual is having a concern over your child that is between the age of one and two and the child is um, sickly and the child is having problem you can raise up your hand i'll be praying for that child the child is um, between the age of uh, one and two and the child has been suffering and you are the, the child is dark in complexion and in particular the child is a boy if you if that is you you can raise up your hand i'll be praying for you yes i see the woman waving the hand there <laughs> father in the name of jesus i'm asking right now that the problem and the pain and the sickness upon that child by the word of authority i speak now will vanish away in jesus name Lord, I'm asking that you stretch forth your healing hand and you will heal that child in Jesus' name. Other parents who have raised up their hands concerning their children, whether they are boys or girls, I'm asking that the problem in those children will vanish away in the name of Jesus. And a child that cried uh, from sleep uh, some nights ago, I ask right now that those evil powers it will leave that child alone and that child will be normal and will grow healthy in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> now you devil, I command you to remove your hand away from those children. And I set those children free right now by the miraculous power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. 
an individual that had a, um, an accident before and uh, you know the part of your body on an object you have been treated but you're still feeling the pain there and it's, uh, it's still giving you inconvenience I would say on that part of the body that you knocked upon an object when you had an accident some time ago if you are there and you raise up your hand the Lord will deliver you from the effect of that accident yes God bless you Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I thank you because you are the God of all power, the God of all miracle. And I'm asking for these people right now that that chest area, you remove the pains right there in Jesus' name. Amen. Any other part of the body that was affected by that accident, I'm asking that Lord, you just lay your mighty, invisible, creative, and healing hand upon that place, and you heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Whatever other problem you have, because our time is going, you can please raise up your hand. The person that is finding difficult to swallow, the Lord says your healing is very near. The woman that is having the abdominal pain, the Lord says, you have come at the right time, your healing is very near. That's other middle-aged individual that is having ulcer, that is a terrible pain uh, between your belly and your chest, the Lord says, your healing is right near you, where you are now. The person that has been having the rumbling and the pain and the moving in the head, the Lord says, your healing is coming right now. The individual with the chest pain, the Lord says, you've carried that for a long time, but his mercy is now upon you. And he says, your sorrow and your, uh, your agony, the Lord is rolling away today in the name of Jesus. The person that is having a type of unreasonable headache and it has bothered you for a long time, you've taken pills, it has not, been, it has not gone, the Lord says, he's healing you. The sore throat is going right now. And the pain in the knee of that individual, the Lord says, it is going right now. The person that has been oppressed terribly um, during the night and a few times uh, during the afternoon too, you have tried to catch some sleep and the oppression has come upon you, the Lord says, is delivering you tonight. And the person who has not been, you have not been your real self, completely normal, the Lord says that he will touch you. And you'll become normal, completely normal. All the pains will go. All the things that have been bothering your life will go. The Lord says you are receiving your miracle tonight. Amen. The person that is having power, uh, that is when you go to the toilet and it appears, um, you know, your anus is coming out. And it has bothered you for a long time. And the uh, people are telling you maybe if you go for operation, it will be all right. The Lord says your healing, your miracle is as near to you as the shirt you are wearing. The Lord has come here tonight to help and to heal and to deliver. All those people have mentioned your problem, just keep up your hand. The other people have not mentioned your problem, just keep up your hand. The person that is having the pain at the back of your head, uh, just, um, just underneath your skull, at the back of your head, above the neck, the Lord says your miracle is very near you. So just keep up your hand and I'll be praying for you. The power of God will be touching you. The power of God will be touching you. As a secretary over there, you in your office, it appears that uh, you don't know why people hate you. And uh, you've wondered, what am I going to do? What am I going to use so that uh, at least I'll be able to keep my job? The Lord says it's changing the circumstances and you will be all right. So just uh, raise up your hand and, and let us pray. As an individual there having, a, well, we call it ordinary fever, but nothing is too small for God. The Lord says your healing is near to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I bless your glorious name. I bless your mighty name. I know that with you all things are possible. All these people that have revealed their problems to me and have mentioned them, Oh Lord, I'm asking that your mighty hand, your miraculous hand, will touch every one of them right now in Jesus' name. 
the person find it difficult to swallow, remove that problem and remove the blockage in the name of Jesus. The person with the fever over the face, the heat over the face, I'm asking you, remove it in Jesus' name. The pain underneath the skull at the back of the head and uh, above the neck, I'm asking that uh, you remove it in Jesus' name. And also that pain in the legs, I'm asking that you remove it in Jesus' name. The abdominal pain, I'm asking that you remove that pain in Jesus' name. The person is having difficulty with sleeping, oh Lord, I'm asking that difficulty you remove in Jesus' name. All the other things that were mentioned, oh Lord, I'm asking that right now you clear all the problems away in the mighty name of Jesus. And our Lord, I've read in your word that when the evening time was come, they brought the sick people unto you. And divers were their problems, and you healed every one of them. Every one of them. Every one of them. I do not want any of my brothers and sisters here tonight to come in vain. Any of the men or women here to come in vain. I want them to get their miracle and take their miracles back home. And oh Lord, I'm asking for them, wherever the problem may be, I am asking that I will touch them with a hand of miracle you will touch them with a hand of power you will touch them with your deliverance and they'll be delivered and healed in jesus name that person over there that is wondering why are they ministering like this what is happening the lord says to convince you that this is a place where his power is moving that the problem you've had for a long time is removing it right now is removing it right now. Oh Lord, I'm asking that miracle that that individual needs, I'm asking that Lord, you'll perform that miracle. And the wonder you will turn unto laughter. The wonder you will turn unto a miracle. And that spectacular, definite miracle, which is what he's been looking up for a long time, he will know that today it has been done in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm asking for that woman that has not uh, been able to behave normally to the husband that's uh, not in a normal relationship because of that object that will come at night and try to have some fun with her. Lord, I am asking that the yoke of that evil spirit, you'll break it tonight in Jesus' name. And all the attacks of the enemy, all the interaction between her and that evil object, I break it and destroy it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I'm asking for that woman who has been married and she's looking up to you for the fruit of the womb. And just some few days ago she saw her monthly period and she cried and shouted and said, What is this again? My Lord and my God, she's here tonight and she has met, she has got contact now with your power. Whatever has been hindering her, that has not allowed her, permitted her to take in and have a child for her husband. Right here tonight, in the authority that you have given me, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I break that yoke in Jesus' name. And the desire of her heart, you will grant unto her. Give her the ability to conceive in the name of Jesus. The person far, far to my left that is having ear problem and a terrible things coming out of those ears, I'm commanding right now that all that problem will be solved and the ears will become normal and the disease in the ears will be cleared away in the mighty name of Jesus. That person between the age of 40 and 50. That your eyes are becoming dim and you are saying, what is all this? I'm not, I'm not old yet. Why is this happening to me? The Lord says, your miracle is right here near you. Lord, I'm asking therefore you clear up the eyesight and this dimness of the eyes will come out, will come up from his life in Jesus name. That woman that is crushing the body with, uh, you know, all that type of thing all over you and the odor and the smell and everything. Right now, by the power of the Lord, I'm asking all the scratching, all the itches, all the, all the pus, everything that is coming out. You stop it, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray that your power will just come upon all the people here. 
and all the things they've been looking up to you for for we they are raising up their hands now give unto them in jesus name turn their sorrow into joy turn their mourning to laughter turn their agony into happiness fulfill the joys of their lives give them the miracle they are looking for before you go away there's somebody over there you lost contact with your child for a long time and you've been so sorrowful there's been agony upon your heart the lord wants me to tell you that this is april and this month that child will come back home father in the name of jesus i'm asking for that individual that wherever the child is now your hand of love your hand of fellowship your hand of, com of compassion will come upon that child and that child will come to this aching parent and sorrowful parent in the mighty name of jesus thank you for the miracles you have performed there tonight thank you for the things you have done in jesus mighty name i pray amen why not just raise your voice to the Lord and praise Him for your miracle? Praise Him for your miracle. 